Good Samaritans confront man trying to abandon his terrified dog at the park. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. When one Chicago woman noticed that a fellow pet owner left his dog alone at the park for close to an hour, she made sure to express her concern about the animal's well-being once he returned. However, it was the man's response that left the entire park in shock. If you were to look up Animal Lover in the dictionary, you'd find the likes of Deborah Irvin. She's the Good Samaritan from the dog park. The Chicago photographer is the proud parent of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Cooper, and even runs her own pet photography business. Being the dedicated pet owner that she is, Irvin makes sure to walk Cooper regularly, often taking him to the popular Fred Anderson Dog Park in South Loop. But on the morning of November 9, 2017, her visit to the dog park was anything but a pleasant one. As Irvin unleashed Cooper to give him a chance to stretch his legs, another park patron did the same with his own pooch. However, instead of taking a seat alongside the other pet owners, the man simply got up and left. According to Irvin, the dog immediately went into a panic, clearly confused as to where his owner had gone. He was there by himself, another witness told CBS2. He was nervous, he was shaking, he was looking for his owner. Irvin and the other pet owners approached the stressed canine, though when they got close they discovered he had no tag or collar to identify him or his owner. Believing no one would return for the dog, Irvin took action. First, she opted to wait 10 minutes just in case the man did come back for the poor pup. But after the 10 minutes passed without a sign of the owner, Irvin contacted Animal Rescue to collect him. However, before anyone from Animal Rescue could arrive, a familiar vehicle pulled up at the park. To the surprise of Irvin and the other park goers, the dog's owner had returned for his pup. The man strolled into the park and went right for his dog, leashing him up as if nothing had happened. Irvin, however, was troubled by this. After all, the man had left his pet alone there for well over half an hour. Hoping to talk some sense into the owner, Irvin voiced her concern for the dog and explained that what he'd done wasn't okay. The man refused to listen and instead became hostile and stormed off with his pup. But Irvin wasn't about to let this neglectful pet owner get off that easily. Taking out her phone, she pursued the man into the parking lot. Only there, he continued to grow even more aggressive. You're not a frickin' cop, he exclaimed as Irvin followed him to his car, making sure to get a clear shot of his face and license plates. The dedicated animal lover was barely concerned for her own safety, even as the man got in her face and shouted, Get the frick off my car! Things continued to escalate as the man had clearly had enough of the pursuing pet owner's reprimands. After yanking his dog up by his leash and tossing him into the car, he turned around and spat at Irvin. Climbing into his vehicle, the man then made a last-ditch effort to attempt to get Irvin to stop recording. He rolled down his window and swiped at Irvin's phone, though she managed to hang on to it and continued to film as he drove away. Returning to the park, the other pet owners commanded Irvin, explaining that this wasn't the first time the man had abandoned his dog at the park. Irvin was shocked at this news and so, in the hope of dissuading any future abandonment attempts, shared her video to Facebook. Irvin's post was flooded with an outpouring of support, with many fellow animal lovers condemning the actions of the hostile pet owner. However, a number of users were also quick to point out that the danger of the situation, warning her that things could have gotten violent at any moment. But Irvin's only care at the time had been the well-being of the dog. If this man's proven to be a repeat offender, obviously from the video he has some anger management issues, perhaps my efforts will help to keep this very sweet pup safe, she told CBS2. Still, that didn't stop Irvin from filing a police report against the man, as spitting at someone is technically considered bannering. The man was later identified by local police, though according to CBS2, they weren't actively searching for him at the time. Though Irvin came out on top with her confrontation with the pet owner, the altercation left behind some lingering effects. Despite support from other park goers, she explained that she wouldn't be returning to Fred Anderson Dog Park anytime soon. Even though she'll have to take Cooper elsewhere to play, it's safe to say that wherever Irvin goes next, she'll be greeted by plenty of thankful pet owners. One of Irvin's biggest supporters is the Ringstaff family, who've completely adopted Irvin's stance on neglected pets. The Ringstaffs told Irvin that not long before her encounter at the dog park, they'd been driving down the highway on a two-hour trip when, in the opposite lane, they noticed a great hulking dog lying still in the road. Cars swerved to avoid him. The Ringstaffs were concerned the dog had been hit by a car. Melissa's husband Michael, a pastor, flipped on the car's hazard lights and pulled the truck over. They got out of the vehicle to inspect the canine. But as soon as Melissa and her gang stepped into the road, the dog stood up and walked over to them, curiously showing no sign of injury. It was then Melissa saw the heartbreaking reason the dog was staying so still. Off in the ditch lining by the highway, another dog had been hit by the car. Tragically, he didn't live to tell the tale. By the looks of it, the dog in the road had been guarding his fallen friend, and 
The sight of it broke my heart, Melissa wrote. The ring staffs tried luring the dog into their truck, but he refused to leave his friend behind. Heartbroken, the family left the stubborn pooch for the moment. They were, after all, on day trip, but ten hours later they returned. The dog hadn't left, though he'd moved out of the road. So committed to saving the world in front of them, the ring staffs hoisted the massive dog into their truck. Like so many other lost dogs, they'd find his home too. But as the ring staffs drove with the dog in their truck, searching for the collarless dog's home, local after local told the same story, one as tragic as the lost dog situation. Those dogs, the locals explained, belonged to someone who moved away. They left the dogs behind to fend for themselves, leading to one's demise. The abandoned and lonely Great Pyrenees had no home to return to. Worse, the dogs had apparently been living on the side of the highway for a couple of days, so hearts broken once again, the animal-loving Melissa and her family knew what they had to do, make this dog's world a better place. The ring staffs brought the dog home, fed him, bathed him, and gave him a haircut. When night fell, she led him to a brand new kettle, but the dog didn't sleep. Instead, he broke from the kennel in the dead of night and disappeared from the ring staff home. The second Melissa spotted the kennel with the now broken door, the family went out searching. Should have been easy, it's not like the big dog was in disguise. All day the ring staff searched, asking everyone they passed if they'd seen an enormous dog. They drove to the Humane Society and police station and couldn't find the Great Pyrenees everywhere. In fact, the ring staff spent three days looking for the dog, putting over a hundred miles on their car driving around the small Kentucky town. Finally, they spotted the pooch. Just a few miles from the ring staff's home, the pooch sat on a stranger's porch, happy to see Melissa and her kids. The next day, Melissa bought him dog tags with his new name. At first inspired by the 2009 film Hachi, A Dog's Tale Below, they called him Hachi. Like the dog in the film, Melissa wrote, We'd found him loyally staying with his buddy who died, but they ultimately chose a happier name. In the end, Melissa wrote, We named him Tucker. Though simple, the name somehow perfectly fit the dog's personality. He's incredibly sweet, very gentle, and we've yet to hear him bark. He's Tucker, and he's a ring staff. <laughs>